come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, the movie review and talk show podcast that comes your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not. In our quest for total world domination, these are the internet radio superstars. Holly. Sean. Michaela. And I'm Colin. Colin in a hat. In a hat. hat. Yes. You got to it before I was in. You look like Quint. That's you what do you remind me of. You remind me of sunburn too, so it's adding With to the it. Yeah. Beard and the hat and the hair. I'm very yeah. yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm yeah. fairly. Yeah, I guess this man I just came burned. off the sea. Yeah. yeah. I can't take the hat off at this point. It's just a wreck <laughs> under there. Um, photo proof will be sh- uh, showing up on our socials. So tonight it we just watched. Feels like it's a Colin stand-in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's so weird to me. <laughs> it's like you remade a or made a sequel to a, a fifty-year-old yes, movie. Yes. You are the the Texas Chainsaw 3D of Colin right now sitting at this table. Oh, that's that's not, what we watch tonight. That's not nice. Though. Yeah, that's not nice. <laughs> I mean, I mean it in the best way. Yeah, you well, we are about to tear this movie apart. Yeah. You don't look um, bad. It's just weird no, no, to no. see you in a hat. Okay, yeah. different. <laughs> well, um, so who chose tonight's movie? Michaela. Yes, I did. What do we watch tonight? I've already said it. Uh, I I. Br- what Texas did you, what Chain. Did, what, what it's did, fine. Okay. What I'll did you bring to the Texas Chainsaw Three? Off. It's fine. D. Okay. You, <laughs> you didn't making, like it when I did that last week. There. Yes. Yeah, because I was going to bring next week <laughs> yeah, Texas Chainsaw Three. three. <laughs> and Michaela's yes. like, "We're going through three D." I'm like, "Oh, oh sorry, Colin. <laughs> I can't do two of them back to back." So, yeah, from the year 2013. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wow. Remember. I got nostalgic watching this movie a little bit because I was like, it did look like a different time. It really did. Yeah. And all this movie, we're, we're yeah. not sure what time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Time, time is um is Time's irrelevant. You know what? Time is whatever you want it to be in this movie. Yeah. We say that because there's a really iffy time timeline uh, that we're asked to swallow in this. Yes. Um, but first of all, who's the director? John Lucenhop. Do we know him? Okay. This was his last movie, if you can believe it. He did two full full length movies I have not heard of before this and never worked again. Yeah. What were uh, the other two? Let's if you know. See. They look like direct to video um movies and they have those kinds of titles. Well, sure. Uh you know, Takers from twenty ten. Okay, uh, lockdown from two thousand. Actually Wait, lockdown, lockdown, lockdown I thought I've heard of Guy Pierce. No, not that lockdown. No, oh, okay. no, not that one. <laughs> That's what I was no. thinking of too. That's Master P is in this one. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> so you know it's good. <laughs> Famous actor, Master P. Yeah, is in this obviously. One. <laughs> so did you Oh pick- and oh and it gets better. So Takers has you think it's a little bit better because the cast is Matt Dillon, Michael Ely, okay. Idris yeah. Elba, okay. uh T I, which yeah. well, okay. Paul Walker. Yeah. 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 Um, Hayden Christensen, wow. Chris Brown, so some problematic oh, people. Yeah. In yeah. But that's probably his most successful thing. Probably more successful yeah, than... Yeah, I remember than, this trailer. And yeah. then it was like a bank robbery up, movie. Yeah. At the yeah. helm of a Texas Chainsaw yeah. movie. Yep. So, okay, so were you inspired to bring this because it is the 50th anniversary of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? I was, So I was struggling what to pick, and I th- thought about how I haven't seen this since the theaters. Okay. That's the worst um, thing I could bring. And I was like, and it is the 50th anniversary. And then I thought about, well, this movie isn't great, but there's a lot to talk about because they make some crazy logic leaps in this movie yeah. that really ask a lot of the audience. So yeah. I feel like there's a lot for us to try and pull apart here. So do you And remember- it was, it, last week we watched Psycho 2, which was a sequel many years later. This was the, the prototype for Halloween kills and ends trilogy right because this is this is a direct sequel it ignores all the other movies in the, okay. in, the in the universe so this is a direct sequel 20 some years later 30 some years later yeah so, so where are we in the the uh texas chainsaw massacre so the first one i think everyone mm-hmm. at the table here is going to agree is one of the mm-hmm. classics of modern cinema yes, yes. hands down yeah uh it's ironic i think last week we were talking about psycho and that they made a sequel to it and it was like you know and then eventually they remade psycho mm-hmm. and did that open the door to just like violating all of horror's classic movies Kinda. by remaking <laughs> yes yeah so they remade the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. In like 2003? 2003. 2003. Yeah. Yes. Now so that, that was one, the 30th anniversary? And it was yeah. a successful movie. Yes. It was the first, I think, of like, uh, I, I actually think Texas Chainsaw might have been the movie that launched us into the remake everything. The Platinum era. Dunes era of remakes, yeah. Well, but everything. Because yeah. I think yeah. that comes before uh, Casino Royale, mm-hmm. the reboot, yep. right? Yeah. 
up until that point, you had always done a sequel in a series continuity. Yep. Mm-hmm. But Texas Chainsaw Massacre remaking basically the godfather of the horror genre. Mm-hmm. Okay, maybe that's a little. No, little it is. But I it's mean, there. Uh, you know, to to go after a stone cold classic mm-hmm. and say we can do better, right? Yes. <laughs> Reboot it, and there had been four movies prior to that. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. And then I mean, is that their goal though? That we're going to do it better, or just we're going to do it again? We're going to do it again. Yeah. Because it's yeah. the the name means. I don't. Yeah, money. I don't think it's the we're going to do better. It's just we're going to do it again. Yeah. 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 But I, right, like Batman mm-hmm. Begins is after this. Yes. Uh, yeah. Like A Dawn of the Dead is mm-hmm. after this. Mm-hmm. So, like, all of the remakes, mm-hmm. like Texas Chainsaw Massacre launched the remake mm-hmm. era. Yeah. We'll stand by this. Yeah. Unless you, you can prove me. That was 03. That yeah. was 03. I, I can't think of anything earlier. Because everyone have to realized. Be on the like, lookout for it. You can remake a movie that everyone is perfectly like aware of mm-hmm. right now and didn't come out that long ago. <laughs> well, right. I mean, I guess, you know, it was mm-hmm. 40 years or mm-hmm. whatever at that point. Mm-hmm. And they're like, no, we can just mm-hmm. remake. Now you can, you can do anything. Mm-hmm. We can restart every movie oh, franchise. That that there optimism in your, in your voice. <laughs> you and did. I don't know why. You did. I mean, there were some that were okay. Yeah. yeah. Just none of them necessary. That's the thing. Yeah. Yep. Oh my God, we have remade every goddamn thing yeah. at this point. Mm-hmm. But this movie is saying, fuck all those remakes, fuck all those sequels. This is a direct sequel. It's going to pick up seconds after where the last movie left off. Very Halloween, Halloween Se- kills. Seconds and somehow also years, years yes. later. <laughs> exactly. How did, but how, like, okay, so Platinum Dunes remakes Texas mm-hmm. Chainsaw, mm-hmm. and then there's a sequel. Yeah, well, there's, well, it's a prequel. Texas yep. Chainsaw Massacre, the beginning. Yep. And then there's my, many, many, many years later, like seven years ago, we got Leatherface. Well, that was after this. That was 2017. Yeah. So how did we go from Platinum Dunes is make, like, mm-hmm. they made two movies. You could make a series, mm-hmm. but they're like, nope, we're going to, a different company. Mm-hmm. Lionsgate. Yeah. Okay. going to pick up this one. Mm-hmm. Don't know. That didn't, couldn't find any information on how it got to their hands. The only but, thing I saw mm-hmm. was that Twisted Pictures. Mm-hmm which was the company behind Saw, yep. somehow negotiated a deal with the guy, Kim Hankel, who was a co-writer, mm-hmm. right, on the original yep. Texas Chainsaw. Toby Hooper is credited as an executive producer mm-hmm. in this movie. So they're like, you know, screw the Platinum Dunes one. We're mm-hmm. just going to do a sequel to the original movie. All right. So that's... <laughs> which I got to tell you, when I heard this back in 2012, I was like, that's so cool. Oh my God, this movie's going to be so good. Because it's I thought the idea. whole movie was going to be in the 70s. Okay. Right. Mm. Until the trailer, once the trailer came out, that became not apparent. But when you first hear this idea, we're getting the whole band back together. Gunnar Hansen, Bill Mosley's going to be in it. We're going to get Marilyn Birds. It's going to pick up right where the last one left off. I'm like, yes, yes, this sounds great. Like, And the first 10 minutes is not bad. Okay. So what, so yeah, so what's the first, what are we, what are we getting into? Well, our title Uh, sequence is the highlights of the original movie in 3D. In 3D! Which is pretty cool. It might be the most enjoyable part of the movie, watching the original. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, in 3D (laughs) noise. And the 3D um, was obviously a thing because, um, well, that started what, 09 with Avatar, Mm -hmm. right? And then uh, Lionsgate had done My Bloody Valentine. Mm -hmm. And they had done Saw 3D. Mm-hmm. And so this was, I think, another like horror, you know, thing that they could capitalize on and make it in 3D. I have seen a lot of 3D movies in my lifetime. I believe it. I'm going to say that this is one of the like needlessly 3D mm-hmm. movies I have ever seen. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's up there with like Wrath and Clash of the Titans with me, too, and Immortals as bad 3D movies that didn't need to be 3D. Or, but is there. Or, 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 um... My soul to take. I'm looking at yeah, you. Yeah, my soul to take you. Well, the, the, when they start getting into conversions. But, yeah. I mean, you guys just saw that. We watched this in 3D. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's like five shots that yep. are 3D. And worthy. most of those were in the trailer, so yeah. you knew that they to were going to come. In. Yeah, nope. and so, yeah, none of them were a surprise. Yeah. It's Not like they great. didn't know how to, like they had never seen a 3D movie before, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's shot in 3D, but the the depth is so shallow that like your mind forgets about it. Mm-hmm. You know, five minutes into yeah. the movie. Yep. Um, okay. So, but there, we are treated to like a 3D conversion mm-hmm. of the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And mm-hmm. the so, what's the setup to this? Uh, this. So story? our first shot after the title sequence is we kind of get the camera spins around from the truck with Marilyn Burns going down the road escaping and we see a police car going the opposite way to the house. Mm-hmm. And I remember seeing the shot and being like, oh, 
Oh my God, it's so cool. They did it. It's going to be good. Like I had such hope from the first scene of this movie because I loved the creative idea of now we're going to turn around and follow the police car. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, no, I like yeah. that. Yeah. This is where we were when that first Halloween trailer came out. Yeah, exactly. It's like, did they do it? Yeah. They did it, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I, get, I fall forward every time. Every you know? time. Every That's, time. We fall forward every time. And I'm sure that when this next Scream trailer comes out with Nev Campbell, oh, the yeah. nostalgia will wash oh, over yeah. me and I'll be, I'll be like, uh, bought in, you know? <laughs> yep. <laughs> There's a lot of like... Um, meticulous is meticulous there's a lot of recreation of the setting and some the of it's good some's really bad but they go past like they they found the freight liner yep. truck yeah mm-hmm. um they found a, either a replica house because i think the original texas chainsaw house is now like a, a restaurant, restaurant. Mm-hmm. and something else down in texas yeah no they rebuilt this house mm-hmm. so there's a facade of the house they yeah. got yeah. this porch swing they've got the i mean it's like mm-hmm. they they recreated they did this a good set. job yeah mm-hmm. Of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Okay, so um, the cops are showing up. They pull up to the house. They're talking to the loudspeaker to apparently the whole rest of the Sawyer family that we did not see in the original. These yeah, cousins come out of nowhere. Yeah, right? a, lot of, a lot of grease monkeys came out of nowhere and yeah. just decided to hole up in this house. I was like, did I miss something? Dude, that, every, every time, time it confuses something? me. I'm yeah. like, I always feel like I miss which, something. Which yeah. it doesn't end up mattering because they all just die right there. Yes, because yeah, you like, have to create a tragedy. Yeah. yeah. But it was so yeah. confusing. Yeah, more was, people and bigger yeah. tragedy, I guess. Yeah. Sure. I mean, you know me, I have a terrible memory. So I'm like, am I not remembering the original? No. Am I, am I forgetting something? And it makes it more confusing bringing back these these actors we know as cameos because then it's yeah. like, hold on, hold on. So they're in this movie, they're this person, you know, right. like having Gunnar Hansen just be what was his name? He was like the the Elder Sawyer, like yeah. uh, is confusing. Yeah. And then you have Bill Mosley playing the sheriff from the original movie. He's playing the cook. The cook yeah, from the yeah. original yeah. movie. Yes, Drayton Sawyer. Yes. Yeah. Where does he get? But that, that also fucks with your head a little bit Second because one? you have to put Texas so, yeah. Chainsaw Two out of your mind because that doesn't apply right. here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so it gets messy. You know what? I'll have no trouble doing that. Yeah, and then Marilyn Burns is in it for like a quick Good second. Call. Yeah, she's yeah. playing uh, not Sally Hardesty, but uh, she appears right. in flashback yeah. later mm-hmm. on. Yeah. So um, it's like it's a wink to like all the people who know, but it's also like it doesn't really add much and it's confusing. Yeah. It's like they're saying like we're going to respect it and bring them back, but yeah. it's also irrelevant. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. so um Hillbilly Justice shows up. Yes. And they, basically they all just the cops want Leatherface to surrender for cuz Marilyn Burns oh, we should say this movie opens with Marilyn Burns kind of like a voiceover talking to the nurses at the hospital telling her what happened to her. So we know she's at least made contact somewhere and is being treated and telling people the story. And apparently this spreads like wildfire throughout this small town yeah. and they decide to get like m- rural mob justice. This is Poss- what makes me possibly think. the most believable part of this movie, Yeah, actually. You know, I I actually thought I was like Halloween kills could learn a lesson or two from how this mob justice scene was done. <laughs> it was done quick and oh, we got the point. It was over with. Like yeah, there was no evil dies tonight, you know? Yeah. Put it out of my head. No, but there was the you can't get around the good, good book. book. Yeah. So yeah, because I, mean, I was like, explain that. I was like, I was like, eye, I was like going an eye for an eye, <laughs> which yeah. I don't even is that even in the Bible or did that come from something else? Yeah. But uh, yeah, he hinges like eye for an eye, sheriff. Yeah. You can't get around the good book because yeah. it's Texas, and so they're just stereotypes typing all Texas as hillbilly rednecks who are out on, you know, with their shotguns going out to the house Mm -hmm. because one of, you know, one of their number has been Mm -hmm. killed. So here comes. Yeah. Um, this not even one of theirs though. They were visit Marilyn Burns and her friends were visiting from out of town. They weren't locals. Think that they're known. Yeah. The family is known for something. And they were just waiting for an excuse. This is their excuse to go do it. Yep. So I figure they've got to be known. This is why right. there is this quick mob justice because like opportunity has arisen. Yep. This like doesn't jibe at all with the way I guess I saw the family in the original right. Texas no, Chainsaw, where it's like these freaks and weirdos are former um, you know, slaughterhouse employees. Mm-hmm. And now There's out a of reason work. for that, yeah, because yeah. you couldn't put them anywhere with the civilized public, <laughs> yes. and they've been like inbreeding or yeah. something for Grandpa's yeah. still, mm-hmm. you know, which is why the grease monkeys just hang. Out oh yeah, gr- Grandpa's really in this scene too, and they yeah. got. That's they right. got John what Dugan back in makeup for it. Get out. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. What a waste. Oh, wow. yeah. What a waste yeah. of everything. Yeah. For to what, hide the, him in the, the shadows. split second you see him, yeah. I don't even yeah. know if there was a close-up. No, but. I don't no, think so. It's far away. It's a wide he's shot. in shadow yeah. sitting yeah. in the chair because you don't want to see how shitty their makeup yeah. is in the beginning It's of bad. Part. Well, there's Between two... him and the mask on so, Leatherface. Like, why are they trying to make the good book thing... 
a thing. Because they, they do through, I think the they movie. need they a catch multiple phase. times. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I didn't even catch like the reference. When, when did they say eye for an eye? I didn't even catch that. At the that. very beginning when they're about to burn down the house with all the Sawyers. So the, the but sheriff, it's not an eye for an eye if you're murdering 40 people right. because of not, two people getting no. murdered. You but know? I don't I don't get that like, all of a sudden they have this entire family shows up and they're like, basically blood is thicker than water mm-hmm. and family is the only thing and we're here to protect all of a sudden these kooky cannibals that are part of the family, right? So they're all like, chick, chick, we're inside. Yep. The sheriff is like, send us Jed, that apparently is Leatherface. I don't how like many, them giving them real names. How I many hate names that has Leatherface had, Colin? I hate the real names. How many oh, names? I mean, does it keep, why does it keep changing? Bubba, uh, mm-hmm. and several, and what was his name in yeah, the remake? Ooh, I forgot what they had a name remake. for him in that, and... I can't remember. Weren't they the Hewlett's at some point yeah, as well? Yeah, because the Hue, right? Mm-hmm. The Hue thing. Oh. I think they were Sawyers and something. And was it, it was the a, second one? I think it was the second one. Yeah. Right? They gave See, them the that's Sawyers. That's where we get Drayton Sawyer. Yeah. yeah. Specifically mentioned in that. Um, but the sheriff shows up. Mm-hmm. Okay. And this is like another like broad swipe at like Texas law enforcement yeah. or something. No one heeds this sheriff. No. I think the idea is like he's the good guy, mm-hmm. right? Who's going law and, and order? Send us the the Jed, and we're going to deal with him by the book. Yep. But then uh, was it Bert, uh, mm-hmm. which is one of the rednecks, shows up, and then he's all you know firing guns. We're going to deal with this Texas way, mm-hmm. and uh, things escalate. And then there's like this massive shootout. Nobody listens to this sheriff. No. At all. No, it's just like, what? None. <laughs> like, he is an ineffective person. Yeah. But God damn it, he holds on to his job for like 40 years. He sure God does. God bless him. But there, they, was, uh, there was so much happening in the first oh, yeah. Yeah. five minutes that oh, yeah. I was like, what? I feel like I'm missing so many things, right? Well, a lot of it just mutually, isn't there. Yeah. <laughs> this would be the mutually assured, you don't say anything, we don't say anything, and you would be sheriff for life. Yeah. yeah. This is the agreement that, mm-hmm. I, is it even hinted but, at or anything no, like but, that? But, like that, that, but that doesn't even happen because I later know. on she reads the report and his and his report is different from what the it townspeople said. It is, and it tells the truth. Yeah. So it makes no sense. Sense. Nope. Why? A lot of this and, movie doesn't no. make sense. And we're going to say that Bert, the mm-hmm. guy who burns the place down, despite the sheriff having on record, like I confronted Bert and he said, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, Bert becomes mayor of the town. <laughs> and uh, so I think uh, the movie yeah. is just saying that the town is so corrupt, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. That, and this is, you know, like that this family. Bert's family just kind of runs in. It is setting up like a uh, Hatfield and the McCoy. It right? really it is. is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it I, is. Uh, I would, a, oh, so you're a whatever. I'm a Sawyer. <laughs> <laughs> so much, so much last name By checking way, and flexing. Where would he go? Who? We'll get to it. Okay. <laughs> so um, during the shootout and the subsequent burning of the house, mm-hmm. one Sawyer gets away with a baby. Two Sawyers. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. three, actually. ultimately actually, only three. one. Three. Oh, that's right. yeah. Okay. Sawyers yep, 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 yeah. Yep. <laughs> four, four. There's so many of these family running around. You can't keep track of them all. So one of the hillbillies like uh, kills the woman with the baby mm-hmm. who's injured, mm-hmm. takes the baby and absconds with it. Mm-hmm. They adopt the baby. Yeah. And then we cut Can we to, keep it? Well, I, I took it for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I told you I'd get your baby. Mm-hmm. Yep. You just steal the Why baby. Why do they want this baby? Because she's always wanted a baby. They, yeah, but they bare. hate this family. Right, but, but they but, want a but, baby. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Hatfields baby. and McCoys, but they you kidnap one of the McCoys and keep raise them as a right. Hatfield. Yeah. You would like, yeah. You would, oh, yeah. Think, and then there's, you would oh, yeah. think this would unite the family. Yeah, you think. <laughs> well, okay. Right, but they're not Italian. Yeah, this exactly. is not how it works. This is how it works. You can't marry into the families and then be like, well, we are one family. And this I was, was like, no, you stole our child. If this is this was the plan of Romeo and Juliet, the Montagues and the Capulets. Yeah. Unite the families. It's to be really honest, good. her life didn't turn out that bad. Who? I mean, I mean her. Um, yeah. What is her name? Alexander Heather. Alexander Daddario. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Alexander Daddario. I mean, her parents kind of suck. But you know. in this movie, mm-hmm. uh, the first time I ever saw her. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think because I was back checking it, so like she became famous. I think like isn't she still on? She's like the Mayfair witch, or what's a she does, she's Mayfair witches is White Lotus. She's been in, I think she was Has also, she? yeah, mm-hmm. she was done. famous she's been doing in movies. True Detective. She was in White Lotus, yeah. she's yeah. been doing horror movies as mm-hmm. well. Yeah. But yeah. she, I guess, was in Percy Jackson, Baywatch. Yeah. Olympians mm-hmm. or the, the, yeah, the Baywatch she's movie. In Baywatch, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, like we said, True Detective. Um, mm-hmm. she's a uh, 
She's a popular figure. Mm -hmm. And it. God Mostly bless her, costume bless her. designer in this movie. <laughs> Very strategic. Um, yeah, it's just mm -hmm. like it was. Yeah, it was. Like, yeah. It's a hand swipe that end, <laughs> that ends that causes that whole situation. Mm -hmm. like, what, is, what is? I was curious. What is the bra situation? Is this a hook in the front type of thing? Because mm -hmm. it could well, she's, be. She's not wearing a bra. Mm -hmm. That's bullshit. She's not wearing a bra. And she is though. Not whether she's supposed to be in the movie. She is wearing one. The entire time in this movie, except for that moment. Mm -hmm. I know. I'm just saying. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just don't I'm just saying. When, when she changes her shirt at the police station, she is no longer wearing a bra, in theory. In theory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And only in theory. And just a snap shirt. Mm -hmm. yeah. Only two, two snaps. snaps done. Two snaps. Yeah. snaps. Yeah. It's very stylish. Yeah. All right. okay. Her wardrobe is very of the time, though. She's it got is. the black and white horizontal striped sweaters, the choppy PC black I mean, hair. You I'm not know? Gonna, dark, very, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It's a cute shirt, and yep. I wear it. Yep. She's but I would long, button it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, she can't, then she can't show off her long torso. Yeah. Which is what they're she's, going for. She's yeah. not really. I feel for her there because I also have a long she? torso, yeah. and that it can be problematic. Yeah. Shirts yeah. can be very short. I just I, I hadn't seen you know now you watch movies. I guess it's like oh this is like from the 2000s and like there is an accentuation on the sexiness of its cast. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think they do this with both the women and the guys. In but it. weirdly, there's no sex scene in this movie. Almost. All and the there's beginning? one that like may have happened in a barn. Yeah, at some yeah point. but no yeah. sex scene. No yeah. sex yeah. scene. Just yeah. implied sex yeah. scenes. Yeah. Um, yeah, this was the time of low-rise hipster jeans. Yep. <laughs> they look painful. I don't miss that time. So, I don't know how pants stayed up in 2005 to 2008. they did. They did, though. We saw so many ass cracks uh, during that time. I know, we did. How yeah. they stayed up, though, I have no idea. So Alexandria Daddario, um, now this is uh, how how many years later? 11. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, no. In real time, I'm saying it's been 11 years since this movie came out. Oh, okay. in No, in this movie, it's been 39 years. Technically. Okay. Okay, so she's and we know uh, that because 20, they, 21 years old. Or and they can't, they can't get around that because we saw a headstone that said 2012, so we, we know it takes it. place in 2012. Yeah. There's and cell phone usage in this movie. The, and well, why in, in every other instance, they try so hard to cover up Dates on graves. Yeah. You see a dates, 19 and that's it. And yeah, then the last dates, two is covered. Dates up. on files. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dates mm -hmm. on pictures. They try so hard, but in this one very specific very shot. Prominent, yeah. Very prominent. Very prominent. 2012. Prominent yeah, but I know the reason for this. They're telling you that's when the movie comes out. It's, it's contemporary. They're blurring references to, to when the original right. movie The original but, is what they're trying not yeah. to But the problem is, this movie was marketed on the idea that it was a direct sequel to yeah. the original. And we all know when that came out. Yeah, so... Like, I'm pretty you, sure people will know that going into this yes. movie. Maybe, but... I, that's why like, I bought it. That's that important. But, uh, the general audience would be like, okay, yeah. I don't yeah. remember when that happened, so this makes sense. Yeah. The screenwriter wrote this to happen in 1990s. You know who the screenwriter was? There was three of them. There were. <laughs> the one that, the name that jumped out to me as the most predominant was Adam Marcus, and we all remember Adam Marcus as the director of Yep. Mm -hmm. Jason Goes to Hell. No! The oh, I hate that guy. The movie Son that he gosh. got when he was 23 oh, years old. Yep. He has returned to the horror genre. This makes sense. That makes, this makes yes. sense. Yes. Yep. This does a lot of pissing on the fandom, so that does make sense. You know? <laughs> oh, and I bet he thought he was doing something genius. Yep. Which, is, it sucks because I feel like there are moments where if it made a few different choices, it could be good. You know what I'm saying? There's glimmers of hope in certain scenes of this movie, I feel like. I mean, I think any movie you know has what? Poss that possibility. <laughs> potential. Right. I'm seeing the potential. Like, I feel like you're being optimistic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to... This is maybe going to so be much to go a, opposite that. <laughs> This might be a controversial statement. Okay. Not our first. I think this movie is not bad until... So there's like two movies in it. There's mm -hmm. a breaking point. Mm -hmm. So there's an up to the end of the carnival scene. Yeah. It's like, it's not a bad Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Right. You know, I mean... Sure. For what they are, you know, I mean... It's not bad. And then after that point, mm -hmm. it becomes a different movie. And this is all the new stuff that they've yes. And it's just, it compounds on how awful it gets after that point. I, so, I appreciate that it knows it has to one up the kills of the original, right? Okay. It knows it has to take it a step further, but it still has to hit those same beats. So we do get like a meat hook. We do get someone in the freezer, but we also get someone meat hooked and then sawed in half while they're on the meat hook yeah, alive. So that's that stepping it up. And the right. graphics on that scene looked better than I remembered. Not later on in the movie, but in that oh, scene looked no. better than I remembered. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, just I, that one. Okay, because I saw 
the flip and I'm like, okay, I can see the cheapness in this movie yeah. because there's no wider shot. Yeah. There is the dude, the actor right. from the waist up and yeah. then every effect is from the waist down and we don't yeah. see a connecting shot yeah. Of yeah. top to bottom of his body. Right. So I'm like, all right, let's no, but I was see. fine with that. Which, which yeah. they do now. old school. Right, that's you true. know, you're like, oh, it, right. you know, it looks, it's, it looks gross. Yeah. Guy yeah. gets sawed in half. It was, uh, it was the um, NB, right? Or right of K and B. Oh, it was an MB. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Nicotero and uh, what's no, his name? Was yeah. It? yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah it was I don't two think of I them. Have too least. much problem with the effects. I mean, this is it's uh, bloody. This, yeah. It is a gory movie. Mm-hmm. It is the only thing yeah. that is its saving grace. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's ten it's times insane. bloodier than the original Texas right. Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, or we know this because Texas an officer too. follows the trail of this blood for ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's how bloody oh this is. Ten minutes long. Trail of blood. That I think is the moment when that's when, the it, that's when I departs. turned. That's yeah. when I was. Mm-hmm. I was just like, yeah. oh, especially because it is a movie trying to even in 2012 or 13, whenever this came out, it's a movie trying to be contemporary and incorporate mm-hmm. that technology. And I'm just sitting there going, uh, oh, because everything we said tonight is just like. There, nobody's Wi-Fi is strong enough to support this live stream that's right. going on right now without a little buffering. Even nowadays, that would yeah, be a hard thing to achieve. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that was eleven years ago. No I fucking the wrong way. Place in my apartment, me? I can't see shit. Yeah, yeah. I don't believe it. Not, was, they don't have a router in that place. To, no, for nothing. Mm-hmm. Nope. And this is like, oh, uh, we should say this house is a giant mansion, like it a plantation is. mansion. It is a plantation. Uh, like we said, racism happened here. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. absolutely. There is some dark ghost attached to this oh, building. Yeah. You know. Well, this is where's that movie? Yeah. The setup to this is. That she so she works in a in a meat plant because it's you know, in her blood it's in her blood and she, she makes, works in a meat plant she works in a grocery she's okay, a, so she's a, a butcher. butcher in the back of grocery <laughs> no, store. whole yeah. plant but meat plant Sorry. it's a grocery right. store you but she, our favorite bandsaw from Intruder yep and, yeah and, but she brings bones home from work to make wall art with yep because her blood in the blood yeah. why isn't she in the poster that says it's it, like uh, just a smaller version of her right next to the yeah. chainsaw and it says it's in her blood it's in her blood and then we go from there. It would have been a better move to put her on the poster than <laughs> Leatherface, I think. Hold on. Uh, evil wears many faces. Oh, <laughs> oh. And this movie doesn't, though. Yeah, he does. Mm. He wears two. 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 So, um, well, so she is, um, you know, with her piece of shit adopted family, she gets a letter from a lawyer that says her grandmother has passed away mm-hmm. and somehow tracked her down, her maternal grandmother, and she has inherited property in Texas. And so she packs up the van, as you do in a Texas Chainsaw movie, with her friends, and off they go on the road, road trip to Texas. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. Any famous people in this uh, in this van? What's her name from Lost? I, I don't remember this actress's name. I don't name. remember Tanya her name. something. I don't know who any of these people stuff. are. So. Trey Songs was a music person that was, I think this was like the is peak of his popularity. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because he was introduced. Was and his introducing music is playing in his scene where he's introduced. It is. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. that's what I was yep. uh, curious about because mm-hmm. uh, I don't know the man. Uh, <laughs> this, like he was peak at this time. Yeah. So that was a long time ago. Okay. So. Um, yeah. And they pick up. Oh, sorry. Then there's uh, Ryan. I remember that name because mm-hmm. it was yelled several times. Mm-hmm. That is. Uh, no, that's Trey Songs. Was it's Ryan Trey, Trey Songs? Songs? Ryan, yeah. Oh, who was the other guy then the that was driving? Was, uh, not the hitchhiker. Not, nope. That was. Because we pick up a hitchhiker. Yeah, named Daryl. Yeah. Okay. What was the other guy's name? Oh, he's way down in the IMDb credits. <laughs> and the, yeah, so the, the other, other guy. The one that has sex with her friend? The black guy. No, that's, no, that's, that's Trey Ryan. Song. That's, yeah, right, that's, that's Trey Song. Songs. Oh. Yeah, Ryan's so Trey Song. Who's the other oh, guy? yeah, the, I don't know. Oh, I can't know find him. his okay. name on IMDb, so okay. I don't know. Was it Kenny? Oh, Could maybe have been Kenny. Kenny, yeah. Yeah. So the four of them, it's two couples then, basically, right? Uh, headed down, and they pick up uh, this other dude who's a hitchhiker, but in uh, uh, Breaking with Texas Chainsaw Massacre tradition, the hitchhiker's not a crazy guy. He's a hot hitchhiker. And so that's they, crucial. They're it's like, get in the, get in Why the is it crucial, Howard? <laughs> Um, yeah, it wasn't hot people get away with things because a lot that, easier. because Michaela would pick him up. I, I didn't say I pick him up. I said I, I think leave you said that specifically. No, I said I would hear him out. I would pull over and hear his story. Well, what are you gonna do to hear him out? He's gonna I, be in the van. I need to hear the this story, and like then I'll make a van. choice, and then I'll make a choice. This sounded like a hop, and let's hear your story. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna hear the story from inside my car. Well, he's like, outside of it. Crack but, going a little bit. It's like, yeah. all right, talk. Yeah, yeah, but okay. he sells it because he's like, I'll he even pay my way, and he's got his shirts cash. unbuttoned down to like his belly button too. Everyone's shirts are unbuttoned in I this know. movie. Yeah, that's and what he's I'm like, it's, it's, it's like all rain so it's, yeah. it's, it's it's doing yeah. it for all the cast. Yeah, I think. yeah. And so um, they end up at this house that is uh, inherited. So um, 
the woman who inherited, or, or, sorry, who, who has now died and bequeathed the house to uh, Heather. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who is she? No idea. Well, she's a Carlson. Who's Car- apparently, Carson. Carson, who's apparently related to the Sawyers. Yeah. Um, Unclear. Distant relation. Yeah. We get a lawyer who explains this. You know, it's like, you got to read the letter that she left you, which, of course, nobody reads. Nope. Until like, whole the movie could have been avoided if they just would have read the goddamn <laughs> the whole letter. fucking movie. And yep. he says it multiple times. Yeah. Read the letter. Yeah. Yep. Like, so I'm sorry, damn. if you're just inheriting this gigantic plantation house out of nowhere from a family you didn't know about, you're going to assume there's some strings attached or something up is up with it, I'm right? That, that letter's letter going to tell you. Right off the bat. Yeah. I wouldn't. Like, like, where have you been? I would what? not let the lawyer drive away. No. Yeah. I'd be like, we're going to read this together. Yep. Right. I yep. have a lot more questions, especially yes. for being 39 years old. Yes. <laughs> yeah. She trapped, now has trapped a giant Trapped in an 18-year-old's body. Yeah. Like, I am the same age as this girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And, but the way they like party and hang out, it's very much implied they're like teens, early 20s. Yeah. At yeah. the early, max. Early yeah. yeah. It's like, we yeah. got a house. We're going to party. Yeah, exactly. You know? Like, well, she's working at a grocery store. She's an Didn't artist. she say something I, about class, too? I, I could have sworn she said something about class. I assume she's like an art student, yeah. right? Like, yeah. that's just the vibe mm-hmm. I got. I don't even, I think she just, oh, it's possible. Yeah. She's not, n- not on the edge of 40. That's for sure. Right. It's definitely. No. Not. She nope. is not. And nope. these fun-loving uh, 20-somethings elect to go to town in the van and leave the hitchhiker elect- okay, well, at we're, we're, the we're, house. And Sean, you said that, I thought you nailed it. You said that Sean, uh, the hitchhiker was like Brad Pitt and he, like he's, early he's Brad Pitt, Early right? Brad Pitt. He's mm-hmm. uh, like Thelma and Louise yeah, Brad Pitt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That yeah. kind of like Maybe even a mannerisms. little like uh, seven just because mm-hmm. of the hair. Sure, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Austin Butler. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And... Uh, What's his name from House of, from uh, Oh Charlie Hunnam. Charlie Hunnam, yeah. yeah. So it's like those three squished together mm-hmm. and running loose. He's trying a thing. It's I don't like know they, if it's, it's working. Like but... a sexy baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but of course, it, it's a bad idea oh, to leave this baby. guy alone <laughs> in the house because, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre hitchhikers, he's up to no good. No mm-hmm. good. And tries to rob them, but takes all the silver, which there's tons there's a of. A lot of silver. Oh my god! Which I mean, don't blame him. At that this was point. my first problem with this movie: is that this is a distant relation of the Sawyer family, right? Yeah. And it's a fucking plantation house. Why are they loaded? Beautiful antique furnishings. Yeah. Silver do you, do you, everywhere. Do you not have uh, family members who are more well off than you are? Why did? Places but like why this? did they take in the leather face if this is their exactly? Setup? Yeah, that's what it so doesn't make sense. Yeah, it doesn't track. Because yeah. family is family, damn it. No, my, <laughs> which I think is set in the movie. My rich family never have me over. Yeah, <laughs> ever. <laughs> well, I, I mean, guess things are different nowadays. That is okay. So, so the the hitchhiker. Did is you the threaten one... to kill them with a chainsaw? Yeah. I think that might face. be okay. Yeah. That might be the problem. Well, he discovers the secret that she probably should have read the letter. But what mm-hmm. what's the the family secret? Is that she is the baby. That survived. Alexandria. Yes. Mm-hmm. So Leatherface her is her cousin. For 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> and where is he? He's living in the wine cellar in the in the false room behind He's the wine cellar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Because I picture Leatherface living behind a wine cellar. Right. Well, no, didn't they say think... at one point where'd all the wine, it would, like, didn't there used to be wine in here or something? So that to me no, tells me. there is me, wine in there. Yeah. There. yeah. It, the, the that's guy, what he's no, doing. It's, it's the the drifter, Daryl. He's yeah. going out there. He's what what, what what am I going to do with this wine? Yeah. Yeah. Right. And I'm like, what do you think? Drink the wine. But also, Dude, some wine's really valuable. Look exactly. for the old shit. Yeah. This is a nice little wine cellar, right? It's a gorgeous house. It's beautiful. wine cellar. His living situation seems pretty dope. Okay. It's fantastic. For, all right. Now, wait a it's, second. It's, it's so bad. fantastic. You know, but, but, and he gets they, giant ribs to eat? I know, but yeah. they, I he goes... This. Lock so me in your basement. <laughs> they, they have hi, they have hit him by putting... Okay, so there's a hidden butler... A butler pantry. Okay. Yeah. And then you go through that, and then you find the hidden the wine cellar, wine cellar yeah. which yeah. is kind of nice. Yeah. And then there's the door. Steel door, yeah. 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 And behind that is a leather face. That's his cubby. Yeah. Now, I imagine if you go through those catacombs and come out the other end, there's a fine five-star restaurant on the other side, which he serves that wine... Chops up the meats and serves it. Serves like way goopy. Right. Yeah, that's so, what yeah. the family was Doing going so, towards yeah. the yeah. entire time. Anyway. But that's not, it's a like, vineyard, right? Mm-hmm. He's Probably. just living like in these catacombs in his little murder room. But he seems yeah. okay with he's that as long as he's it. not just distra- like he's a protect. He's a silent protector. Yeah, yeah. a dark knight. He's been doing this for thirty years. He's yeah. just hanging out in a windowless. I don't yeah. believe he's killed anybody Cavern. for thirty years. Yeah. 
You but think, what's he been doing? Because he's got to kill you. I think she was the you one. You think someone like Leatherface minds that he's living in a basement? Right. In a hovel? He has the money. He's not. He doesn't mind. Yeah. He's like, he's, I'm happy down best here. Life. What do you think he's going to be doing? Go to Sunday school? Right. No. He's living in a basement. What else could he do? Well, and he kind of has he's to stay down here people, because Colin. they need to think he's dead, you know? Yeah. So. He wears a mask of people. Yeah. How and like he... he goes up to the kitchen. He clearly is like he comes through the house sometimes because he knows where things are at. Yeah. Yeah. So clearly she lets him out sometimes. Yeah. I mean, I guess the steel door He knew where the bowl the was side. in the kitchen. Yeah. He knows but what he's doing. The the door is locked, so she keeps him. At night. It's like you kennel a dog. Yeah. But then he could get into the wine cellar. He maybe hangs out in there, the nicely so. appointed wine yeah, cellar. Yeah. You know, right. Chills out. Yeah, yeah. Has his dinner. I think she lets him. And he, then goes he back He knew where to catacombs. go get her from the graveyard. Yeah. Yeah, he knows where he's going in the house. It's yard time. He was okay. he he, uh, yeah, he, he got night. her from, he got her from the river, took her up to her bedroom, yeah. like set her up in her chair. He knows the house. So yeah. Mama night, Sawyer so he doesn't just get locks him in at night. They lock That's him what, in the basement. Okay, it's yep. for it's for his own protection. Yeah, really. and he's okay with it. Because yeah, which his, didn't his, she's there and he's she supposed gives to him protect nice her. food. She probably gives him one of the nice wine <laughs> to <laughs> pair with to pair with his ribs. Didn't that new Texas Chainsaw movie, the Netflix one? He was also locked in basement, but it was more like a sad situation and then. Once he got out, sadder. he was like fighting everyone. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, and yeah. in this case, he's having a nice yeah. chablis with dinner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This house, we Can can't, we can't understand how big this house is. With the, with the nice music on, right? Just yeah. swirling his mm-hmm. wine. As well, yeah, like it. he's. You think he's sitting in his cubby like some savage? No, he's swirling, he's, uh, he's sniffing, he's doing arts and crafts. What's he been doing for? He's enjoying well, his that's life. What I'm the entire time he's been down there. I know. That's my my question. But I guess you've been a sommelier. He's he has a, f- a fine, a well-selling line of wines. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why doesn't she just have him be the chef? Well, I guess because you is. wouldn't want to eat what he's serving. Mm-hmm. Or maybe yeah. she would. Well, he provides the meat. She does the cooking. <laughs> yeah. this has been mm-hmm. the I mean, maybe the wine was called Jedediah. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Right? Um, With a little blood in each one. I guarantee it. Well, Daryl, the interloper, is and punished for it's... his crimes by being brained by Leatherface and then uh, eviscerated yeah. and, mm-hmm. and, and, and torn up in the basement. Because get it, guys? It's like the original. This guy yep. got hit with a hammer. Yeah. His legs are shaking. There's yeah, so much. Got it. He slams <laughs> the door. Okay. Now, we were talking about last week about certain things are just like we're repeating times of flat circle. We're just repeating previous movies rather mm-hmm. than something that would feel... You know, more hammer, organic to the characters. The hammer didn't bother me. The red shorts bothered me. The hammer didn't bother yeah. me. The red shorts were the thing. The freezer was, the, I think, the major one that mm-hmm. I had a problem with. I'm just like, okay, we're doing this again. Yeah, like, the because chase it's not, through the woods with the chainsaw. Yeah. Um, well, Michaela and I were talking I right off mic right before you guys came down here. Um, are the Texas Chainsaw movies, like to be a Texas Chainsaw Bad, movie, yes. is, the, <laughs> is the formula... More rigid than like a Halloween. Now Friday the Thirteenth well. is pretty rigid too. They're like basically the same movie yeah. over and over again. This is movie Texas doesn't Chainsaw? really get supernatural the way Halloween does or anything. There's yeah. so many different ha- timelines with Halloween. Texas Chainsaw is pretty linear for the most part. There's I think like three timelines, um, but it is still pretty like yeah, pretty much going the way it goes. Mm-hmm. Um, but what was your question? Are Does they it, more rigid? Yeah, the with formula. what you can do. I, I mean, I think so, I think so. I don't think movie. there's an, there's as much opportunity to expand on the universe. It's not very many characters. You, just, no. you need a chance because when they try to, it you becomes need ridiculous. Yeah, another face, and you need family. And I think that this is, uh, you know, but what can you do with that? You, you bring in the yeah. Yeah. That's that's yeah. you bring in the Illuminati, yeah. Holly. Yeah. That's how you make a better Texas Chainsaw movie. Didn't we watch Return of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre down here? Is that the fourth one? Yes. Yeah, that was Illuminati. The guy in the limousine. Was just like, was keep, here, let him keep doing it. That? that was the worst one. I don't think I was here for that one. <laughs> it was awful. Uh, uh, Renee Zellweger. And, yep. Uh, no, I've Matthew seen Cameron. it. I just don't think I was here for that one. I don't remember. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, it becomes a uh, stock and slash movie at this point, right? They realize they've been ripped off. The one girl, Tanya, what's her name, is uh, uh, seducing uh, Dario's boyfriend. Do you think this is solely to just make us be okay with them dying? Yes. Right? Yep. Yes. I don't know don't who I'm rooting for else. in this movie. You know, it's funny. I don't think Leatherface is the villain of this movie. He's, he's not. I know that's what he's I'm not. saying. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the mob justice it's, and it's everybody who's Yeah, it's sympathetic over. to him. That's, that's like, I don't know who yeah. you should be rooting for in this yeah. movie. Okay. Yeah. But, Nobody's good. Right. I, I don't understand. That is right. a, that's a problem. That, I think that is a change that happens like up until because there's, you know, a chase scene, right? Dario finds uh, Leatherface, 
She's her friends are killed. There's a chase some, and trip scene. We should call it. Yeah, woman she, cannot stand on. Oh my god! Through well, the graveyard and then chunky. into very. a carnival. So we're like, okay, oh, well, it's, it's, it's the gra- face with the, we don't the graveyard was that the, it, the coffin casket shot was a big trailer moment. That was used a lot in the trailer. Saw yeah, and the- I the concept is good. The execution just leaves leaves a little to be desired. All I see is missed opportunities. Yeah, the carnival. Why and this we- is where I see the potential. Okay, we, the carnival. We, he goes to the carnival the and doesn't house. kill anyone. He doesn't kill anyone. What? Why don't we go into the funhouse? Well, like, there's so many opportunities. Like so many opportunities. Jason so many. In, in Manhattan, he's just single mindedly after this one person. But- so she goes into the funhouse. But that doesn't line up with what we know about him, right? Like our history with Leatherface, even just given the first movie, is anybody who gets in his way. Is it risk, yeah, why right? Is he yeah. So following her specifically. Well, because but shouldn't he been, be chopping through all these people wait, to get they, to her? They, they right. do well, give it, this. It has been people who have come yeah, there and yeah. he's dealt with them. Rather but than they, going they give an, they give a reason for this in the dialogue. Mm-hmm. The last time that somebody got away, his whole world burned uh, up. Right. So he's like, I'm not going to let anybody get away. But, but he couldn't hit a few stray sense. people at the car. Well, the whole <laughs> idea is that anyone who came near the house in the first one and found out about them, he killed them. To keep it a secret, yeah. if you're running through a carnival with hundreds of people, right? It's kind of the game is, is, it's is but it's over. not because it's we smooth, had yeah. Saw and the mini chainsaw running through, so it's just like oh, oh the, the I hated that. Saw. Fuck off. Yeah, yeah man, that's man. the twisted pictures mm-hmm. yes. influence. You so, get so it's just Billy supposed to be like no, some the, scary yeah, pig, chainsaw yeah. guy who's running through yeah. crowds trying to scare people. Well, yeah, it's a and kid stuff you see at every single haunted affair that we have nowadays. And yeah. this, so and this is a Hollywood there. movie with a twenty million dollar budget yep. that can't do better than your local Halloween haunt. Yeah. That's it. Can't go anywhere deep into the Halloween haunt. Yeah. yeah, I agree. It should have gone through the fun house. It should have gone through multi. You could, there's, there's so no, much opportunity. So much opportunity, and there's no go through all the rides. Do whatever. Like a a slower stock. The only slowness we get doesn't really involve. Him. They it involves the cop walking for ten minutes. I think what this movie, my biggest problem is, it took zero risks. Yeah, anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, anything. It's a conservative uh, movie. Okay. The, the, the second, as. the second half, I think, is taking some narrative risks. Like what? Well, because it, of its morality, I think is the thing that it's doing. Where it's like, okay, it, you know, it's like Leatherface is as brought her back to the house i think or, or what happened no she goes to the police station i think it's only a risk if, it, if i don't if, think if, i think it's only a risk if there was ever a chance it would pay off i was like i don't think do it's well. a risk i think it's just a hook but okay so so she goes to the police station and this is the moment it, there's two diverging scenes that happen here <laughs> that like blow this movie up first of all Murderous. she <laughs> is uh able to access the evidence uh, from the prior case. Yeah, the and what file. she learns is it's my family and my family was massacred by these, like, uh, yeah. you know, like... My relatives uh, I found out about two days ago that yes. I have all this care yes. for. and Right. The, this care, is, the cannibalistic yep. the care uh, should killers. Not be there. Yes. She should not no. give this much of a fuck. Maybe no. talk to police, get a lawsuit going. That is what comes Protect from Protect yourself financially however you can. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, yeah, I just... Why are we supposed to care about... And, and why are we supposed to care if she's finding out this information? Because we already know it. Yeah, right. and exactly. Oh, oh, she's behind us in yeah. the movie time, yeah. so it's it's and that's treading usually, water. That's usually a problem. Yep. But I guess <laughs> her conclusion that like you guys are all murderers because you shot my cannibalistic killer family. Yeah, you murderers right, killed like, my murder family. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how like, dare you? Huh? And then you also have uh, the uh, the mayor Bert and the sheriff again, completely ineffective. Uh, and Scott like, Eastwood, completely. Enough. Scott Eastwood. <laughs> we didn't Which, talk about him. Oh my God, Scott Eastwood. That's what I meant when I said, "Where would he go?" Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for sure, he disappears. The sequel? Most of this movie, he he's a vapor man. He you just see right through him anytime he's on screen. Yeah. I'm sorry, he did not inherit that family charisma, but mm-hmm. you know. But it he's makes trying. you. But yeah, Scott I, the, the thing that I I love about his casting. Love. Right? Okay. I love I this. Oh. Because in my mind, I sit there seeing little Scott Eastwood going to his dad and going like, "I got a job," you know. I'm gonna play like, a what, cop. What are you in? He's like, "I'm in a Texas Chainsaw Massacre sequel." And then Clint goes to the premiere. You think he's seen this, and huh? Disowns his son. This is what I'm saying. Okay, okay. I this don't, in my no, no, mind, no. he has not seen no, this. No, because I'm with you, because I'd love to imagine this. Is yeah. this like his first big thing? I mean, because we looked, he was 25. He looks young enough so. where it is. Yeah. Unless he was showing up in his dad's movies yeah. in random spots we didn't notice. This feels like his big, most prominent role. 
even though it's not right. Yet. And so proud Papa Clint Eastwood right. has yeah. seen this movie. <laughs> this That's amuses very funny. Me. That that in and of itself is more entertaining than this movie. <laughs> right? That's very funny. Did they watch it at home? Because it's like Clint can't. Or did he go to the premiere? Oh my God! This is his first non non yeah. Clint Eastwood movie. Yeah. yeah. Oh God, boy, he go. probably did go to the premiere. Yikes! Can you? Clint imagine, gives him notes. Can you, like, yeah. Imagine Clint. Think, well, no, Clint, they saw this. They watched this. They got an early cut. They a screener. The living room. Unfinished. Do you think the effects were unfinished? With 3D glasses. <laughs> sitting there watching Texas Chainsaw 3D. I'm just hoping oh it has the God. green and lines from going, when the effects aren't finished. I didn't even think about Clint wearing the 3D glasses. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. That's even better. Just giving that glare. Uh, and he's just like, well, you, you got this job on your own, son. Yep, yep. <laughs> he just looks at something and goes, <laughs> <laughs> why? Yeah. <laughs> what did Clint think about it? I mean, he's it's a paying gig. I'm sure he glass, thought his son was the like, first yep. thing I'm going to ask him." He got oh, something. Like, yeah, how, like much, son, how, son, how much? How much do they pay for your son's movie career? Dude, right probably now. seeing him in Suicide Squad was an upgrade compared yeah, to I'm this. Sure, I'm yeah. sure. Like, son, as long as you're <laughs> he's happy, he's like the gator should have ate you. Yeah. 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 Oh um, my god. So. <laughs> He just doesn't have it. But I'm sorry. See, he do doesn't him, have it. I see him in the red and blue 3D glasses. Yeah, the red and blue. Yeah. 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 Way the paper, funnier. The paper one. Way yeah, funnier. Yeah, for sure. Oh, oh Clint, so please great. write in. Yeah. Eastwood or Howard. I don't yeah. care which one. <laughs> so at this point then, oh, and so then well, this the begins like a 10-minute <laughs> uh, sequence in which it's a uh, deputy... <laughs> Uh, live streams uh, going through the house. Yeah, right? what built suspense like watching a cop walk around holding a cell phone and a gun in a house? I'm following Jesus the blood. Rice for 10 I'm minutes. Following them, still it's following the, the blood. Nobody's scene. sending any backup or anything. The no, sheriff is like, the you should stay outside. And the cop is like, the, the deputy or whatever's going in is like, but there's a blood trail here. I should follow it. And you're right. like, well, yeah, but there should be backup. And the right. mayor is like, just get in there. God damn it. Blah, 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 blah. Every- Doesn't he give the line? Can't, the good book doesn't he give the good book line? Yeah, he does. yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Yeah, which again, like, doesn't hold. It doesn't, make, it doesn't make it doesn't make sense. Doesn't hold anything. It means nothing. It doesn't to make me. any sense. No, it, it just also, means that, it just means that cop is part of that group and that's his attitude and that's right. just the shorthand for that and that's yep. all it is it because no it also showed up in the a newspaper print Did when it? she was reading the uh, mm-hmm. yeah because the cop quoted it you know right. it's like I approached Bert and he told me right the good you're book. right right it is in there mm-hmm. can't can't get away away from the good book so um <sighs> so this starts like the second path so the cop gets killed in mm-hmm. in the basement well I, I, I want you to take as long to describe it as it took to in this yeah. movie All for right. it to happen so let's because sorry it's, it's you have 10 minutes Colin go right <laughs> yeah. ahead. Go. we're literally timing it. Yep. go describe every I step because leave. it is him with his phone doing a live stream of this he puts his phone down a lot for someone who's live streaming too. Did you guys yeah. notice that? That he's like put it like fully facing the ground at many times. And it's like okay, but well, he's fa- he's this- following this blood trail. Right. The blood trail, of course, that looks like they dragged. I don't know what, what whatever it was. A half bled for half a, a very long ahead. time. Right from outside well, they, the house, like, all the way down away. the chair. I'm fairly stairs. certain they just dipped a mop in blood. Yeah, and yeah. drug oh, it yeah. across the floor. But also, like no, I don't care what. You, what the good book says or whatever their their philosophy <laughs> is to cover anything up. This is a level of stupidity to go in there by yourself yeah. that completely, it should take everyone out of the movie. It took me out of the movie. It took me out. Of, this yeah. is the moment I remember seeing this in theaters, just absolutely hating this scene because I'm like, nobody would do mm-hmm. this and everyone is failing on every single level, yes. corrupt or not. Yes. No one's doing what humans do. Yeah. Right. It's just, it's a uh, plastic impersonation of people right. at this it's, point. It's <laughs> trying to, to get, like, it, it, because who, they have, they who wrote have, this? Uh, Adam Marcus from Friday and, and, two, other and mm-hmm. two other folks. Because they Fucking have, hell. Uh, it's cross cut with, we got Alexander Daddario uh, learning about her family. And so we have what is going to end up being a very long scene of her looking through files. Yep. Very interesting. Yep. And so not, good to, files. Not, good no, files. not good files. Not good because files. Not good Because once again, we already know this information. Looked, yeah. Like it, when she grabbed it, I was like, ooh, file work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. It, it, was it was not. Shit. It was shit. But yeah. we have that entire scene and we have to, unless we're just going to sit with her for five minutes and let her look over files, which we shouldn't do. Thank God for this movie. Uh, didn't do that. And that's the only saving grace. So we got to cross cut it with something. And so it's this cop with this scene going through here for 10 minutes. Yeah. Wandering wow. through Just catacombs. G- g- leading to the eventual end that we know it will get to. But he does get down to the basement. He does get down to the wine room. He does get down to the freezer. 
He does see the aftermath of her friends that have been cut in half. By the way, oh, she, that's should, right. she should be way more disturbed that her friends are dead. <laughs> she's yeah, a she has no emotion. You can tell this is an early Alexander. I don't know if she's the best actress in the world. I've I seen her in a few yeah. things and, you know, uh, emoting. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I'll take somebody else's word for it. But it's not good in this movie. And so she is not feeling the feeling she should be feeling. And it's just. <sighs> but again, and what, the cops in the basement. And what was the point of the of the boyfriend fucking her friend? Drama. Nothing, because she doesn't find well, out, right? right. She Nothing. Like, yeah, she like, Michaela like, says it 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 makes them uh, supposed to not like them. Well, you don't care if they get killed; they deserve it. And it's, it puts and them in the position to where they have to get in to where Leatherface attacks them, and they have to get in the car, and then the car pulls out. I guess that's it. Yeah. All like, of which could be done without them fucking. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, it's but not so, necessary. But yeah, but not again, necessary. it is to make them. Uh, yeah, because again, it, well, point, hey, you have to series... give those characters something to do. Uh, whoa, and so uh, that was what you know. Not like, have human moments. No, it's no. just fuck and die which yeah. is what we which is the you know oh yeah it's not that interesting folks <laughs> i was actually thinking about on this is my second watch but there we know nothing about alexandra daddario at all yeah. like nothing she is mm. there's nothing there no we know nothing other than that she was a sawyer yeah she's a butcher she has shit parents. Yeah, she does, weird, it. She does weird bone art. Yeah, right. But That's it all it. comes. But all that came so very quick at the beginning, and then it's never touched on again. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. Uh, so much of this yeah. stuff is uh, if if you're not confident in it, confident in it, you go through it real quick in the movie. Right. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm like, I don't know who I'm rooting for in this movie because I don't know anything about anyone. So right. To me, I'm like, they're all kind of shit. Right. Well, it yeah. makes I, it. I, don't care. I think it 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 also starts to compound that problem because um, then. There, I mean, there's a there's a setup of like, you know, she meets um, Scott Eastwood and it's like, OK, if her boyfriend is cheating on her, we know, right, that he's cheating on her, that maybe this is the love interest, right, for the movie. But then it turns out he's actually the mayor's son. And so he yeah, I think we figured that out. throws her in the back of the cop them. car and like, you know, when she goes to him. And it's like, I'm going to take you out to wherever my daddy's telling me. They don't even play this well. And I'm no. talking no. about, no. like, no. just... Uh, you don't know what his motivation is. No. Otherwise, no. he's no. like, he's Bert's kid, and other, they other, hate the Sawyers. Right, other than Hatfield and McCoys. Right. Other than that, yep. there's no motivation for this character. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they don't even do it well. There's not even and good music stings or what have you really, to, for a reveal. Yeah, and there's that really fucking weird scene in the car where she, like, stabs through the... Like she's gone the nuts. The separator. At that point. Yeah. Like it's just, it makes no sense. No. Nothing that's happening it makes doesn't. sense. Because she's all of a sudden taken on yeah. years of, of family rivalry yeah. unto I, herself. She, she, read, I'm a she read the files yeah. and, and like, now she knows the, everything. Right. So now she's now yeah. she has uh, hard opinions on her family yeah. and who has I'm crossed a Sawyer, her. Sawyer, goddamn it. Yeah. 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 She's twelve. So Bert No, she's uh, thirty nine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Bert the mayor says to his son, the deputy, take her out to the slaughterhouse. This is because I think they have to like cover up the fact that um the other deputy who was in the basement shot her uh the yeah. Dario's friend who was still alive yeah. in the cooler. Uh, right? Okay, I do love the way this scene like escalates so quickly. So she pops out of the cooler just like the original <laughs> yeah. and he shoots her and immediately without missing a beat, his boss that's never not happened. watching the stream never it happened. Did. Don't worry that's about it. it. Never happened. It's a cut to show. Yep. Never happened. happened. Yep. It's fine. fine. And I was never like, happened. It's yep. fine. He's standing right next to the sheriff. Yep. Yeah. Just, yep. yeah. Yep. This is on the on par with the the chick who gets the uh the car door slammed into the gun and Halloween kills and yes. shot in the head. Yes. <laughs> It's just like, whoa, all right, yeah. she's gone. Well, it's a Texas Chainsaw movie, so we have to have a climax in a slaughterhouse. So this Oh, no, is, we don't. Uh, we don't. Um, so they take her out there, and they tie her up. And, mm-hmm. and somehow, as you mentioned, her one-button shirt gets split open. Yeah. And so, but somehow this movie, even though it has this fascination with bodies, is, like, averse to nudity. Oh, yeah. She has, like... <laughs> I mean, it was it's like, taped down oh, for yeah. sure. How yeah, is that sure shirt is taped staying? Down. That is where good tape. Yeah, is, very good it's tape. Open, you know. But that's because you got to be able to see the scar that came from the Sawyer that's necklace. The, I like right. that the that's way that, 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 that the writers got away yeah. with it. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's not exploitive. <laughs> yeah, you know that we're gonna have oh, a girl if there's yeah. a per- with if there's her a shirt quote, open. Purpose. Yeah, sure. It's because she has a scar of the necklace, which was hot during the fire that burned into her. Because it'll save her life having her shirt. Because because it couldn't be that her shirt was just buttoned for 
further down from lower, the... Lower, no, right. No, that's not slight. enough. Right. That could And we be, move no. the scar over a little bit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Now, I, I can't believe I'm here arguing against showing Alexander <laughs> Daddario's boobs. <laughs> well, because but they, they don't. They, yeah. Yeah, they don't. They, they don't. don't. Or yeah. what they do show of them. But yeah. I'm just like, it's, we don't it's, need to do this. It's so stupid. Yeah. So stupid. And so the climax where, where like, she's being held captive by the mayor and the deputy, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And... So at this point, then we're we're like rooting for Leatherface yep. to come in and this save I'm her. I'm not okay. <laughs> so where are you no. at this point? Like I'm angry. Is where I'm at. I'm angry. It's so stupid. I was literally I'm sitting there going, oh, "Who the fuck am I rooting for? I don't know, and I don't care." I hate and when then we get. We get the line in this movie that made me <laughs> want to burn your basement down, Colin, because I was oh, that angry. Here it comes. This is the one it's famous it's for. It's famous okay. for. Okay. She yeah. has throws. All right, I'll give it to you. Hold on. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. But she, she, so she is, she is tied up arms and arms by the mayor and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, she is, uh, I mean, Leatherface eventually stalks yeah. his way down there, finds her, is about to saw her up, and then uh, sees the scar. He sees the part of the scar. It's not even the full necklace part the ass of it it's, it's, part, little, of it's little bit of part of it yeah. and he sees it on there realizes she's a sawyer she's also yelling this at her I, at it's him, me I think. I'm hell I'm your cousin I'm Heather, I'm your cousin. I hate that line hey, it's you're like me for the rest of my life <laughs> but, and, and then he freaks out because uh, family you know blood is thicker than water mm-hmm. uh, uh, the saw he's and bound her, by family. family Yeah, bound by family he is the silent protector of mm-hmm. all sawyers and carsons and what have you uh, then proceeds to uh, cut her ropes to let her go free um, in which she does escape, but then the mayor and his henchman, the other guy, mm-hmm. uh, the deputy, yeah, it's not the deputy. No, no, it's, no it's it's the other guy, his just his, yeah. his pal, yeah, yeah, just his pal. You can start beating oh, up. Leatherface. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just start beating up Leatherface, and you know that you're supposed to start feeling bad for Leatherface mm-hmm. at this point. Yeah, Which, okay. The murderer. Why can't he beat the shit out of them back at this point? He has our He's six strength. five. In yeah. which he flips over yes. a van yes. earlier, not yeah. not ten minutes earlier in yeah. this movie. So he's a very strong person. And they say he's six five, so we know yeah. he's much bigger but than he's all these people. He's being beat up by three guys. Yeah, two she guys. runs out. Two. two guys. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because Scotty's with his fucking gone, yeah. and yeah. we never yeah. see him again. Oh, that's right. He disappears. Yeah, he from disappears. Yeah. yeah. Where did he go? Yeah. Where did he go? He Where brought he go? her there, and then disappeared. So, so they then she's cut that. yeah, she's, and she has the ability to escape, yeah. but she doesn't. She turns back. She's right. like, man, she's I can't she's let my cousin be beat up by these hick redne- rednecks. She, she <sighs> takes a pitchfork and murders one of them. Yep. She oh, she murders Otto or Ollie. she yeah, murders yeah, yeah, one yeah. of them. And that's Mercy like you murdered this you man. You murdered a man. And then she confronts the mayor. Beating up Leatherface, grabs the chainsaw that's been sitting there, throws it mm-hmm. to Leatherface, and says, "Do your thing, cuz." And Holly, I wanted to burn this place down. <laughs> this yeah. movie's okay. famous for, but unfortunately. Wh- but, so it's just it's the the. It's like this movie is so on the wrong side of like everything. It's the movie that makes Leatherface a hero. It's yeah. very much like that's why you don't fuck with the daughter of a serial killer. Yeah, it's the yeah, same yeah, tone. Yeah. 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 Oh. yeah. Anger, blood boiling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so now it's Leatherface and his new, uh, you know, new gal pal. They're friends. Versus uh, yeah. the evil. And, and the thing that makes it even, like the movie keeps making it worse. Mm-hmm. The, oh, yeah. the sheriff, yeah. <laughs> right? The beleaguered sheriff finally shows up and he gets the drop on Leatherface, who is about to feed the mayor into uh, a shredder. Into yeah. Michael Myers' final resting place. Yeah, yeah. same thing. Yeah. And he doesn't shoot because she's like, don't shoot. Mm-hmm. And the mayor's conflicted because he's like, do I shoot everyone the crazy in this situation person, is a murderer or do I let him kill this fucking evil hick bastard who's troubled me for my entire mm-hmm. life? And the sheriff decides to let the crazy person kill the, <laughs> the mayor. And, and you're like, what the fuck? And, and why? And, because eye for an eye. Yeah. You can't. They can't beat the good book. Yep. There's that line again. Can't beat the good book, okay. Bert. What? All like, right. What Everyone here is murdered, so they're all bad. Yeah. Yeah, so they're all complicit all, yeah, in yeah. the badness. So yeah. they're just like. Well. So yeah, if you if you're going by the good book, the yeah. eye for an eye. Yeah. If you're following Exodus, then yeah. you should all be murdered, <laughs> right? <laughs> Uh, so, they're all but, waiting for a lightning yeah. bolt to strike them down, <laughs> apparently. So the mayor is dragged into the uh, smusher. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. He is. Not as good as the 30 day a night one. No, and no. The, the effects on this do not look great, I feel no, like. They, no, they've done it. They but it is gory, yeah. I guess, you know. He yep. gets chewed up on camera. Mm-hmm. And uh, so Alexander Daddario, the sheriff says, mm-hmm. clean this shit up. Yep. You know, that's his parting words. Yeah. She takes Leatherface home, as you do. Cleans his wounds. Yep. They have like a loving moment together, which this is our, I'm like, I, there's no coming back for this movie. It is, no. it's gone. You, the, I'm not bought on their newfound family no, relationship. She did the, he did just kill all her friends. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yep. And and she doesn't know that they were bad otherwise. But she, doesn't, yeah. she doesn't know the affair happened, so what was the point? And also, yeah. that doesn't mean they should die. Right, seriously. Last I, I checked, they're, that was not punishable uh, by death. Right, you know? they're, they're yeah. a couple yeah. of horny human beings. <laughs> right. They fucked. But right. she feels nothing. Jesus Christ, I shouldn't feels, die. Right. She feels family is more important than these friends that he has murdered. Yeah. Yep. Oh, he was just trying to protect the family. Uh, yeah, yeah. So uneasily, she locks him in his little basement room, mm-hmm. and there's the impression that she will take over for her. She finally reads the letter. A little finally too late. Was, yeah, yeah. Finally reads the way letter. too late. The yeah. Marilyn Burns cameo picks up his, picks up his food picks tray. Picks up his little tray. So that's how he knows that she's going to take care of him. Yep. She picks up the tray. I mean, you can't and blame live your dog together. for like killing the neighborhood kids. No, but that's you why you got to train him or oh, keep actually, him locked you know, up. Yeah, they do that, <laughs> yeah. and then they put those dogs down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's actually a strict yeah. consequence system yeah. for stuff yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, yep. Yeah, it's probably stricter for dogs than it is for people. Yeah, I think yeah. it is <laughs> actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Leatherface slams the goddamn door on us to end the movie. This big sliding oh boy, door. You know what I'm talking about. It's Texas yeah. Chainsaw Respect Massacre. Mm-hmm. Um, this was originally planned to be a trilogy of that's films. Their, oh, that's always their plan. I'm so tired of people fucking like... We, just we, make one movie, just okay? Just make the one movie and make it good. Yeah. And then the, maybe... Oh, just do that. Because I know that's why Scott Eastwood disappeared. He'll show up later in uh, the sequel to the thing. Probably. And, yeah. That's why he's gone. The sequel never materialized. Instead, we got a prequel called Leatherface. Yep. Which was unrelated to I never all the that. ones before you did, right? it. No, I, oh, I started it, then I gave up on okay. it. I didn't care about that one at all. Uh, do I care how he, a little Leatherface no. gets a saw? No. no. And then he got was, abused by someone. He's not. He's got the intelligence of an eight-year-old and, and decides to take it out on people with a chainsaw. Well, that yeah. one. Not I think the. I think the gist of it is like there. You're in an orphanage. Oh, you don't know which. Who's you don't who. know who's yeah, Leatherface. Oh, no. Yeah, I remember that. And then uh, it was followed again by a. Another completely unrelated movie called just Texas Chainsaw Massacre mm-hmm. without the the yep. for yeah. Netflix, which was produced by Fede Alvarez. I kind of liked that. I liked it. I it was fun. It was stupid as fuck, but it was really fun. It was fun. And it was like a direct sequel to the first one yes. that ignored everything yes. else that came before it. And I actually think the Leatherface performance in that movie was better than the one in this movie. This guy is not good. I don't yeah. think this guy uh, does yeah. not have the, not, yeah. the, the presence or the, the, I don't know. And the face, the, choreography the mask is, is like very maybe bad. the worst of the, well, maybe, yeah. I don't know. Again, Return of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Or no. It's not Return. Texas There's no Return. Chainsaw Massacre, the new beginning? No. What is it called? Next Generation. Next Generation. Next Generation. Yeah, the fourth one. Mm-hmm. It was originally the return of. They Probably. changed the title. Yes. Okay. Uh, so because the fourth Halloween was the return of Michael Myers, right. too. So. She wouldn't need a chainsaw. That's yeah. the exactly. nice. for the fourth one. Okay. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> so we have we've had a bunch of these. They're all basically the same movie over and over again. Some yeah. of them are better than others. Mm-hmm. The last one, like I said, the math doesn't right. work out very well for the franchise, though. No. But that first one, God damn it! Yep, it's a, it's a great great Stone Cold movie. classic. It is like mm-hmm. uh, transgressive in a yes. way that like some people shouldn't see that movie, but that's mm-hmm. what makes it so good. See you at a drive-in if you ever get the chance. <laughs> yeah. It's great at a drive-in. It's a drive-in movie. Uh, all right, so now we're going to go around the table and tell you whether or not you should watch Texas Chainsaw 3D. But first, we're going to read some of your mail. In order to do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman. His name is Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. <laughs> All right. Don't answer me. Uh, nothing for Igor and his leather apron. It's all covered with blood. I don't like, think he, he even felt the effort and... to put this. No. Yeah. Yeah. He, he was the like, I'm in here and went back to his hole. Yeah. 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 I yeah. keep him locked behind the, uh, <laughs> yeah. the, the wine cellar down here. Yeah. So what happens when you're gone, Colin? Yeah. He's takes, drinking all my wine. I was wondering charge. where that went. Mm. Who does? Who takes charge? I don't. I claim not it. Oh yeah, I don't. I don't want to inherit Igor. So no. yeah. Um. No. 
Well, we should let the good folks at home know how they can participate on this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or X. At Sat Freak Show. Or they can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or follow along on Instagram and threads at Saturday Night Freak Show. MF Mad, the keeper of the Saturday Night Freak Show. Wall of Fame. Uh-huh. Doing the Lord's Doing work. Doing the Lord's Scotty's work. And wants to know that we've put two people on, I'm going to say the hallway of fame, and that okay. is Richie Montgomery, who you would know as Ollie, right? Ollie okay. right, was right, the right. friend who uh, gets of the, the, the mm-hmm. he gets okay. pitchfork. He gets pitchfork. Yeah. But you know him from Looper. Oh, okay. Because he was the bodega owner in Looper, okay. and he okay. was also okay. Deputy Spyro in Monster in the Closet. <laughs> All right. Uh, James McDonald was officer marvin that they mm-hmm. keep uh, officer marvin was the, the guy who had the live the stream in the basement yeah. oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. uh yeah. he was also in two evil eyes mm. uh, and he was in broken arrow so there you go oh wow well, that's an interesting career hallway. yeah um the boy with the jason tattoo says all i have to say is do your thing cuz and says this is a guilty pleasure of mine i got to see it in theaters with my mom in 3d and it was a blast and i would also pick up that sexy hitchhiker laugh out loud i'm with you on that part the sexy hitchhiker part i agree simon carter says (laughs) i know i she said it i would okay as long as we finally admit out of all the movie hitchhikers out there can you do better than this guy he didn't he didn't murder anybody that's a one-up on most other movies. <laughs> All he did I, was steal some silver. He, right. I feel like he could, though. I feel like he has the potential. He he's to he's on the yeah, gateway. Yeah. If cornered. Yeah. Theft is a gateway to murder. <laughs> okay. Oh, I, I don't know what that is. Right. We are going okay. off right. the rails. We're going off the rails. getting real Republican um, right now. Yeah, Colin's got uh, his hat on. It's changed his personality. Simon, <laughs> Simon Carter says, I know I saw this at the movies. My only thought after was that they must have gone through a massive amount of tit tape while making it. Seriously. So much. Like a wrapped up like a mummy. <laughs> uh, Amos Martinez says the filmmakers really couldn't do math, could they? <laughs> no. This movie really sucks, yet it's still better than half of the franchise. It reminds me a lot of t- Halloween 2018 for a lot of reasons. Do your thing, cuz. Yes. <laughs> Travis Legler says before discovering the freak show, I never watched any of the Texas Chainsaw movies. After hearing you guys talk about them, I did sit down Stick with it. and I watched the first one and it left an impression. Then I saw part two and I tried to figure out what the fuck. Then someone, <laughs> then somehow I jumped to this one and I'm really lost. What were they thinking? How did a movie from the mid seventies that I watched during the day scare me? And this one nearly put me to sleep well before my bedtime. I hope you guys have some fun watching it. <laughs> well, thank you. It's, cr- it's crazy uh, how the franchise is gone. Chris Eklund says, dear Brailers, this is one of my favorite <laughs> movies from the series. <laughs> The one line that almost ruins it for me is when the star of the movie says to Leatherface, do your thing, Mm cuz I love the show. Oh, thanks. Uh, Thank you. Thank Thank you you. very much. Uh, Mark Harrison says the original film has only been available in Australia for 40 years. It has been banned and only lifted in 1984. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 was banned as well and finally released in 2006. It should continue to be banned. If you were... What? Oh, it takes a change on two. two. If oh, you yeah. were to learn that your distant cousins were murderous cannibals, would you join them? I would take their house and I would sell it. Lawyer up and immediately yeah. and say, yeah. yeah, one, how can I profit? But two, how can I protect myself? Yeah, how can I profit from a distance? Yeah, yep. Uh, last week, we watched a movie called Psycho 2. Richard oh, Kratzer yeah. says, great episode. I can hear the ladies now during the reveal at the end of Psycho 2 saying there's <laughs> two of them. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Correct. Back to the two movie monster trope of two anacondas, <laughs> two alligators, two mothers, two megalodons. Yes. <laughs> Very correct. Two, two mothers. Two mothers. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that's so funny. I didn't think about it that way, but now I just that's like it really even more. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you, each of you, for yes, writing in. We, we really it. appreciate yeah. it. Mm-hmm. We love now, we're going to go around the table and tell you whether or not you should watch Texas Chainsaw 3D, starting with... Holly! Mm. Uh, what'd you think? I hated it. Well. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, I don't like the Texas Chainsaw movies, aside from the first one. Okay. The Fair. first one is... Uh, it's unbeatable. Mm-hmm. It's unmatched. It's forever a classic. It's, you know, the godfather of horror movies, whatever you want to call it. Fantastic. All of the rest of them suck ass and I hate them. I don't like anything about this franchise after that movie. This was no exception. Writing was terrible. Directing was terrible. Acting was terrible. It, uh, yes, there's some gore. There's some like graphic scenes that are somewhat entertaining, but I'm just... 
the rest of it was such, was such shit that I wasn't even entertained at that point. So, no, I hated everything about it. Can't recommend it. Can't recommend Texas Chainsaw beyond the first one. Colin, what do you think? Um, I I saw it in the theater. I hated it. I <laughs> saw it again, and I was like, you know, half of it is not awful. Now, I mean, is that when you bought it? I got it because I collect 3D movies. Uh, okay. um, oh, yeah. yeah. It's I'll also get... in 3D, and you know I that. hate 3D. Yeah. That's my other thing. Well, I, I love 3D. Um, this is, not, this this is, is not the good... least 3D movie, right. like one is of the least worth... 3D movies that I've ever seen. No, it's not worth it. Uh-huh. Um, so it's not worth seeing in 3D. <laughs> I noticed they, they cribbed their uh, you know like intent by just calling it Texas Chainsaw. I think it was released in 2D mm-hmm. at the same time it was released in 3D, mm-hmm. so you could yeah. choose the, the mm-hmm. showing that you were going to go to. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not worth seeing in 3D because uh, the director didn't understand the assignment, mm-hmm. knew nothing about 3D. Apparently, none of the producers did. Um, so it's really bad. I mean, it's almost flat, but so was Saw 3D. I mean, mm-hmm. the only yeah. good Lionsgate 3D movie was uh, My Bloody Valentine yes, 3D. That's a great movie. Check out our episode on that. It's a great movie. Um, I haven't had like a moral problem with uh, only two <laughs> movies on this show. One of them was Serenity. That movie that, <laughs> Fair. Uh, that McKay, I was like just offended by it. Yep. And I think this one also offends me. Uh, I'm just sitting and there going like, own it. this is a <laughs> own it. Well, yeah, but it's in 3D. Colin loves to be offended. So but not good 3D, as we've said. It's not good 3D. But I have a collection of all... Uh, so, um, that's right. It is. It is a sickness. Um, but yeah, I mean, the idea that we are supposed to root for Leatherface as a hero, as a savior, you know, the, of the, the heroine that comes in at the end of, is just, like, repugnant. I mean, you're just like, this is a guy who eats people and cuts them up, and I'm like... He cuts their faces uh, off. Yeah, and yeah. wears them, and it's just, like, what the fuck? Uh, I can't recommend it. I mean, it was just... Uh, and everybody, I think, you know, is hinged on... Uh, it, they They've nailed it. It's that line where she's like, do you think, where you just like, oh my God, this movie Whoa. has just thrown its soul out the window. <laughs> and uh, yeah, um, I'm going to say no. Sean, what do you think? Uh, Colin, it's ironic that we inducted someone into the uh, Wall of Fame tonight that was in uh, Monster in the Closet because I could have been coloring instead of <laughs> watching this movie. <laughs> oh, man, that's a good callback. Mm-hmm. It is a good callback. It was it that our, episode? It was. Listen to, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, shout out to Tom and uh, our Monster in the Closet episode. Yep. Uh, uh, I would rather be doing anything, anything else, else than watch this movie. This was... I hate this movie. I didn't like it when I saw it in theaters. Watching it tonight just reinforces every single bad thing that is wrong with this movie, and I hate it. Um... That's as far as it goes. I don't. I don't hate you. No, I'm not uh, taking it as personally. Okay, I was gonna say because I. I'm not dying little, on the whole yeah, of this movie. Little hate towards Colin when he brought Crow too. Yeah, yeah we're not mad. <laughs> and, I, and I think that's just going away, so we're good yeah, now. No but, one's uh, mad at you. No, yeah. no. no I, um, I, I agree with I mean, everything you, know, you all are again, saying. If, yeah, we all bring movies yeah. because there's a good discussion yeah. to be had about mm-hmm. uh, about horror movies, um, and that's. This podcast is the best thing that's going to come out of this movie. <laughs> so I hope you, I hope you yes. all enjoy it. Take that. For what it is, <laughs> I hate this movie. I will not recommend it. I'm going home. <laughs> Michaela, take us home. You know, when you're watching a movie and you're doing basic math and you're thinking, <laughs> that, wait, no, that doesn't it. Did I see there? And then you start gaslighting yourself, being like, no, I'm the problem. And then you find out later, mm-hmm. and then you go on the internet after you see the movie and you realize everyone else had the same question. Then you're like, no, I was right. Yeah. Like the emotions I went through seeing this movie the first time disappointment, How dare you upset. Make me question How did, myself? Yeah, gaslighting. Blind righteousness. Yes. Like, but, yeah. And I was, I had, I. I was hopeful for the carnival scene. I was hopeful for so many things that were in the trailer. I hopeful that it was going to be a direct sequel. So then when the time jumped happened, felt betrayed. Um, it's, you know, it's Your really. optimism was sweet. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it also came <laughs> yeah, out in January. So I should have known. It was a January dump. So, I mean, uh-huh. um, but yeah, I saw it in theaters. I saw it in 3D. Um, as soon as the scene with the cop going through the house started, I was like, this is so fucking boring. There's no redeeming this. Mm-hmm. Um, and. I, you can't just end a movie by being like, and they're friends now, and they're going to live together. That's not an ending. Like, And it doesn't make any sense for any characters in this movie. And yet, this movie is not good. I didn't bring it because it's good. I brought it because it's been a long time since it's come out, and I 
was curious now that we've had so many sequels that pick up right after the last movie, how this one would hold up to mm-hmm. the other ones. Um, I actually do think like the Halloween, the new Halloween trilogy kind of saw what this movie did and tried to do it better. I don't know that it was wholly successful, but I think it learned lessons from the, uh, Colin shaking his head. No, I think it learned. I think it took things away from this movie and maybe some of the wrong things away from this movie. But um it's crazy that the first experiment of like, let's do this in the modern era was this movie. Um, yeah, no, it's bad. And if you've heard anything about it, you've heard the do your thing cause and the, the, the just, and the time jump and the ages that don't add up. And like a movie shouldn't be missing, like shouldn't have this lack of quality control. Right. Like mm-hmm. I can't believe no one yeah. picked up on the age thing and said, Hey, this doesn't make any sense like, at yeah, the very least cut this tombstone scene where we don't see the date, you know, yeah, if I you mean, leave all years ambiguous, you might be better off, but the cell phones make it hard though too, yeah. you know? Yeah. So, um, it's too bad that they didn't have the time to even do another pass on the script to make that make sense and tighten it up a little bit. Is there a reason this couldn't have been set in the early nineties and then it is like 20 years later and she's like 20 years old. Why couldn't that happen? Yeah. Um, Ultimately they just didn't care. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like <laughs> why care. as an audience member should I care when the people making this movie don't even fucking care. And it's offensive yeah. that they and want us to care the when horror, they didn't. I think the horror community says that a lot. Yeah, exactly. So um, fuck them for expecting us to care when they didn't. So no, don't watch this movie. Um, we just like, came here to clarify that yeah don't all. watch it um listen to our episode and listen to other podcasts about it but don't ever go watch the movie like not even a best of on youtube is worth because there's nothing no, there's, there's nothing to be mind from no, there's nothing worth so yeah no hard movie. pass um this franchise really struggles and i i agree with you holly i don't think there's been a good one outside the original and i think that man i'm thinking back to when we watched texas chainsaw 2 and oh. I think I would rather watch this over that movie, though. Oof. No, like me too, because this is less yeah. annoying. This is less annoying. This is less annoying. I yeah. agree with you. Um, I feel like I hated this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like I could fall asleep with this movie on, and the other one I could not. That's yeah, for sure. I agree um, with that. Yeah, but this franchise, man, just stick to the original. All because, possibilities you mentioned, I hate. Yeah, exactly, right? There's yeah. no good. There's no good. There's choose no your good. own adventure here, so no. just don't no. do it. Um, no, yeah. no, no. This is we have not reached Halloween levels of, of choose your own no, adventure goodness not at all. yet. No, nope. with this, I don't think we will. No, nope. mm-hmm. hard pass. Don't watch it. It's bad. Woo. Even eleven years later, it's bad. Is it eleven years later? Do we know mm-hmm. the timeline? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it, has it actually Five. has actually been forty years later. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. You know yeah. how this movie yeah. came out 30 years ago? It, well, it, the, the yeah. upside is is that the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre is back in theaters yes. again this Halloween. Go see that. So <laughs> you can mm-hmm. actually yeah, see, see that. that. That's fine. The remaster looks great, so yeah. go see it. Yeah. All right, so I guess we're telling people, don't no. watch no, the don't. Texas Chainsaw it. Massacre. It's illegal to watch it now. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it's it not is. worth it. Colin, you must actually sell this copy. Yeah, yeah. It's so unlucky. It's officially... Or he's got to put it behind a metal door and behind his yeah. wine cellar, yeah. right? It's, right. it's nope. officially banned from the basement. Yeah. Right. This feels like um, um, uh, a horror movie where there's an object that's enchanted and it causes nothing but bad luck, and so they have to pass it on yep. and give it up by the end right. of the movie. Yeah, it's, it's like this movie. They yeah. find it on the side of the road, some lucky mm-hmm. bad, unlucky bad is going to pick it up. <laughs> They're like, oh, I haven't seen this one. They're going to take it to Disc Replay. Disc Replay is going to say, we don't buy that movie. Yeah. Yeah. Buy that movie. They're stuck yeah. with it. We'll you have seven days to get rid of it. I'm keeping the cursed object safe from ah, other people by doing, locking it away. Colin's safeguarding it, it, yeah. That would be the end of it. Like Colin, yeah. I can see it. Colin opens that <laughs> His door. His secret room in the basement is all enchanted shelf, objects. Turns to close the door, which is a metal door that <laughs> yeah. slides, turns the light up and goes... <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what's gonna happen as soon as we leave. Yeah, it does. yeah. That's exactly what's gonna happen. As we're leaving, he's out back reburying <laughs> yeah. in the backyard. Right. <laughs> out of the ground. Uh, that's why your hands are so dirty yeah, when I got yeah, here. Yeah. You were digging it up, uh-huh. huh? Yeah. Uh, we unearthed it. Even Igor's like, I'm not touching that. <laughs> yeah. uh, he didn't even want to be around us for this movie today. Yeah. All right, so next week we're going to watch a movie that's chosen by... Colin, since we're not watching Texas Chainsaw 3 next week. What other sequel are we going to watch? Right, what are we watching yeah. now? Well, in the, uh, or it's Halloween Pretty season, so movie. we're going to get all spooky with the devil. Ooh, and so the in the 1970s, right, there was a bunch of devil movies yes. that came about because of Rosemary's Baby. You remember Rosemary's Baby. Yes. Sure. You remember The Exorcist. Sure. You remember The Omen. Okay. But you don't remember the Mephisto Waltz. I, I've heard You're this. You're right. Okay. You're right. I don't. <laughs> With title. Alan Alda. Oh, We're my watching God. that next week on the Saturday Night oh, Freak Show. 70s devil movie. I'm in. With With Alan Alda. Alda. Is he in? Fight the devil. Oh, my yeah. God. I'm All so right. excited. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we hope you'll join us for that. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark.